Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about element number 117, tennessine. So tennessine, TS, artificially produced transuranium element of atomic number 117. In 2010, Russian and American scientists announced the production of six atoms of tennessine, which were formed when 22 milligrams of berkelium-249 were bombarded with atoms of calcium-48 at the cyclotron at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia. Dubna is a town in Moscow Oblast, Russia. Here's Dubna. Here's some information on it. So the atomic weights of the atoms of tennessine produced were 293 and 294. The five atoms with atomic weight of 293 decayed into element 111 or rogentium. And the atoms with atomic weight 294 decayed into element 105, dubnium. So during these decays, they also formed atoms of atomic number 115 or moscovium, seen here. This is the first time that the element was formed. So tennessine's chemical properties are similar to that of acetine. If you're interested in learning more about that element, I'll leave a link in the description for that video. In January of 2016, the discovery of element 117 was recognized by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, or IUPAC, and the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, or IUPAP. The discoverers named it tennessine after the state of Tennessee, where centers of research into transuranium elements such as Oak Ridge National Laboratory, the University of Tennessee, at Knoxville, and Vanderbilt University are located. The name Tennessee was approved by IUPAC in November of 2016. So Tennessee is named after the U.S. state of Tennessee and is the last of the elements 1 through 118 to have been discovered. Six atoms of it were reported in April 2010 by a joint Russian-American team working at the nuclear research facility at Dubna, Russia, where several other very high-numbered elements have been discovered in recent years. The team made these six atoms by firing calcium-48 atoms at the stationary atoms of berkelium-249, forming the isotope 294 Tennessee whose atoms contain 117 protons and 177 neutrons, for a total of 294 protons and neutrons in each nucleus. While it is satisfying to be able to say that all the elements that fit in the standard arrangement of the periodic table have now been discovered, there are not really a whole lot of practical consequences to the final act of filling in the holes. These very heavy elements exist only briefly in laboratories and will likely never go beyond that. Their chemical properties may never be known, and once their nuclear decay properties have been sufficiently studied, there will be little reason to continue making anymore. We may indeed be living in the only era of human history in which people are actively engaged in the creation and study of new elements. A few decades ago, no one knew how, and a few decades from now, perhaps no one will care anymore. So that was Tennessee Explained in 5 minutes or less. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, thank you everyone for watching. Have a great one.